Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about my finished Marfa sweater. It's a really fun intarsia knit project from We Are Knitters. If you've never done intarsia before, it's not hard. There's really only like a couple things that you need to know, and I'm gonna go over them a little bit, not like a full tutorial, but just a couple things that you need to know for intarsia. But this is a great first intarsia project because it's a big graphic, a lot of repeats. So the more you repeat, you know, the more that you get the hang of it. I just think this is a really good place to start if you've never done intarsia. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Terrilyn. I've been wanting to use these colors for a while. I actually had a crochet sweater that I started a long time ago that had similar colors. I was excited to see that We Are Knitters had similar shades. So this is the petite wool and this is ochre. I believe I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. This is neon fuchsia and then navy blue. Just a really fun color combination and I love the pop of neon. You guys know I love any opportunity to add neon to anything. So I just think it's a really fun project. Cozy and kind of a slouchy fit. I made a size medium. It seems like medium works really well for me in regards to We Are Knitters kits. I made a medium in this Marfa sweater and I also made a medium in my Simone cardigan. And I actually have a full blog post about that. I made a couple of changes with that. And so in that blog post, you can find the changes. If you're looking into making a Simone cardigan yourself, you can kind of check that out if you want. Um, I made a size medium and there's a couple other adjustments I made. So I will link that down below that blog post if you'd like to check it out. But I do find that medium really fits me well. I like an oversized fit. So I just really like the slouchy kind of cozy feel of it. I have to be honest, I did not check gauge with this. Um, I definitely advise checking gauge. I was super excited to get started. I had figured since I had made another wear knitter sweater before, maybe I didn't need to check gauge, but uh, I definitely recommend it. And I am trying to get more in the habit of checking gauge. I just get too excited sometimes and just run right into the project. But this one I did not check gauge, but everything worked out fine. So, but my measurements are definitely different than theirs. So this is after blocking, I did block this. So in regards to the length, their measurements versus my measurements, their finished length was 21 inches. Now I don't know if their measurements include blocking or not. So mine definitely do include Your finished box. medium front and back panel. It's 21 inches and mine is 26. So you can see it's a nice, like cozy oversized length. So you can wear it like this. You can tuck it into a sweater kind of do, you know, that's what I love about this kind of slouchy fit is that it has a lot of options. Definitely made the sleeves longer and Did the same with my Simona cardigan. I just love a cozy sleeve um, that kind of comes over your hand that you can just like snuggle. Those were about five inches longer than their finished sleeve measurement. Theirs were about 15 inches and mine are about 20 inches. So five inches is about the difference as far as the length goes on the back and front and the sleeves their measurements versus my measurements. Now the width, my width is only a couple inches larger than theirs and so that might have just come out in the blocking, but it's a really great cozy fit. So even though I did not check gauge, which I definitely recommend again, um, I did have plenty of yarn to make the sweater and I also had some left over. So for that, I was able to make my newest pattern, which is the color outside the lines beanie. But I will link that pattern down below. It's a free pattern on my blog if you wanna check that out. So that's kind of fun. I had two projects out of just the one kit just think that it's a great first intarsia project or if you already know how to do intarsia
So the major thing to remember when you're working your color changes with Intarsia is to place your working color on top of the color that you're changing to towards the left. That way there's no hole in the front of your work and it gives you a clean finish to the back of your project. Another thing to remember with Intarsia is that you're going to have to determine how many balls of yarn you need at the beginning of your project for each color. Unlike Fair Isle knitting, you do not carry floats on the back of your work, so when the color changes, you need a new ball of yarn. Just a really fun sweater to work on. I really enjoyed the kit. I always love We Are Knitters kits. They're really easy to follow. They give you everything you need. done this one and then the Simone cardigan and then my happy cushion I actually have a video for that and so I'll put that up here and I'll also put a link to the blog post down below so I just think that they're really fun you can choose whether you want needles or not if you already have them you don't have to get them and they come with a tag a really cute handmade tag and even some stickers I got some stickers too so so definitely check it out if you'd like to. I'll put my affiliate link down below and it'll take you straight to We Are Knitters. You can type in Marfa Sweater, M-A-R-P-H-A, in the search bar and it'll take you straight to the kit if you want to try it out for yourself. Like I said, I definitely recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, don't forget there's a free pattern below.